build your own pension. Uh, this isn't just relevant to the Philippines, it could be here in Spain, it could be anywhere. Um, I pretty much do not trust the economics of the world at the moment, especially the Western world. Everything's on credit at the moment. Nobody's paying their debts and they're sitting there blaming everything but themselves. Um, the British exit, for example, the British exit will not fix the UK's problems. Let's be honest with that. And I, I know many people are going, ah, oh, these sheeple and all this sort of stuff. I think if you're that blind to the realities of the state of the UK economy, <laughs> good luck to you. Um, but the, the point being is you need to prepare yourself that things ain't going to be worth as much as they used to be. And the last thing I'd want to be is stuck in the UK for retirement. Um, so what I do is I sit and work on little ventures that build up over time. I've still got my daily income, uh, my monthly income, etc. But I've also got little projects I work on that don't make big money, but they make regular money. And if you think about it, I think the British pension is about £115 a week or something. So it's only about less than 500 quid a year, uh, a month. Um, I already earn nearly double that. Uh, online so even with just the online stuff I'm already above what my pension would be which means I've doubled my pension uh, just by doing stuff online but I could actually be doing more if I wanted to because the other thing is at the moment I've still got my day-to-day -day income my, my stuff I do for my um, regular work but I've also got the English teaching stuff starting to develop so the whole point is here even if you're retired, you want to be in a position of retirement that financially gives you the life you want to do. You know, for example, I like teaching people things. I like doing these videos, for example. Um, if I was retired, it doesn't mean I stopped doing them. If I make a little bit of income off it, good. But at the same time, I'm doing what I enjoy doing. And that's, that's the point of retirement. It's not just sitting, waiting to be fill, filling a box. Um, and I. I don't want to be in a position of retirement when I eventually get there where I haven't got the funds to do what I want to do. You know, it's like my, my father, for example. My father got quite a good setup. He's, he was recently in Bavaria uh, photographing bears and things like that. Um, he was out, in, you know, I brought, brought him out to Spain uh, a couple of weeks back as well on holiday. But he's setting up to go to the US to photograph rodeos and doing a bit of a road trip up there and things because he's part of the photography groups and he's retired but he's doing what he wants to do he's traveling around the world uh, doing photos you know is he making money off it because uh, I was asked yesterday does he make money off the photos it's like, that's not why he does it it's not he doesn't actually sell any of his photos he just does it because he likes photography and that's, that's the position you want to be in, where you've got enough money coming in so you can just go and do whatever you want. Um, and that's what you want to look at. Have you got enough money in your pension to do what you want to be doing? If not, it's probably the right time to start developing things that will give you that income. Um, because it's not impossible. It's certainly not impossible. And even from learning new skills, learning new skills is age long. It's, it's a lifetime. It, there's nothing to stop you learning something new. If, just because you're a bit older, you might think, oh, this will take me ages, blah, blah, blah. Talk yourself into it, not out of it. Um, because if you're doing something you enjoy doing, it's not hard work. And if you've still got your income coming in from work and bits and pieces while you're working up to your retirement, it's not going to hurt you. It's actually going to keep you occupied, it's going to give you something positive to do. Um, I know from my own experiences and that of others, we used to go out drinking from Friday night, because um, I used to work in construction a while back, and on the way home, on a Friday, everybody would go to the same bar, and people would just take it in turn to play the uh, slot machine, one after the other, you know, because everyone was have a beer, pay, pay a pound or whatever. And then everyone would just sit and do that every single week. That'd be Friday, Saturday night I'd be out clubbing. Sunday night um, was live band night. Monday night was down to Passion and Pain night. 
you basically blew all your money out partying. Now, nothing wrong with that at that age group. But what I'm saying is, these days, I'd much rather buy myself a new Apple Mac with the same money I would have wasted on drinking. Uh, I'm quite happy to have the odd beer here and there. I'm not really fussed on going out. You know, if I want to go out, it's to go and see things and do things. Um, and that's the thing, you get, if you get into something you enjoy, okay, you may spend some money, like photography. Um, but the end result is you've got A, a hobby that you like, B, you've built up the equipment. So you could actually make a bit of an income if you wanted to, but you've also built the skills up to do it. Um, that's the important bit, is you're working towards a pension that suits you. Doing the stuff you want to do. Not going, all right, well, now I'm a bit older, uh, I've got less money, so I'm uh, going to downsize the house and all this sort of stuff. Downsize the house because you're traveling. Downsize the house because you want to do it, not because you have to do it. Um, start saving today. Start working on incomes. I know somebody's already mentioned about the peer-to-peer -peer lending. I invest in peer-to-peer -peer lend peer -peer lending. Uh, it works, it's easy. It, you just throw the money in there and forget about it. You just keep adding money every week. It doesn't have to be, well, in the UK, the minimum I can put in is 100 pounds a week. Um, but the whole point is, if you let it, you know, because I know some people have only got like 25 quid a week or whatever spare. If you put £100 in a month or every two months, it's still saving towards your pension and you get more uh, more interest doing that than you will with a bank. Um, my return on investments being between 6 and 12%. Uh, the bank offers me 0, 0. nothing. Uh, the bank here even charged me for using it. Um, so, so it's even worse in Spain. It's funny because with the the foreigners office they want you to have a minimum of 2,000 euros but at the same time I'd rather have no Spanish bank account if I can help it because they're robbing me blind uh, but hey ho part of life um, yeah thanks for watching